there's going to be people, especially if Golden State wins and Brooklyn doesn't win. With all of this stuff that went on this year, that is going to look at his choice to join with Kyrie Irving and depart from Steph Curry as opposed to staying with Steph Curry. That's all I'm saying. I ain't saying it's fair. I'm not saying it's right. When KD tweeted and said it was egregious for me to say that on NBA Today yeah. with Malika and Shanae is when I said it. I'm saying I tweeted back. You're absolutely right. It is egregious. It's unfair. It ain't right. You deserve better. Okay, so Stephen A, that was you on NBA Countdown Saturday. In response, KD took to Twitter saying this, Steve, since you decided to use ESPN to push your personal agendas, I'm sure your minions will run with this story for you, but if you believe this is what my career is defined by, then you're just a flat-out hater. It's going to be hard to box the god in. Big perk back here with us. Kendrick, good to see you. Stephen A, uh, what's your reaction? Well, a couple of things. <clears throat> Number one, um, mm. it wasn't just him that said something. His mother, I call her Mama Durant affectionately, Wanda Durant clapped back at me as well. Let me say this about Wanda Durant. I love that woman. She's one of the most special people that I've ever encountered in the NBA, and I love the NBA moms, and they all know that. You can say whatever you want to me, about me, to my face, on Twitter, whatever the case may be, I'm going to do nothing but show you the utmost love and respect and deference because that's how I genuinely feel about you. So I take no offense to what she says. She's speaking up for her son, and she has every right to do that. That's number one. Number two, Kevin Durant knows good and damn well I have no personal agenda here. Molly, I challenge anybody to tell, to find who's the person that calls this dude the best player in the world all the time. That would be me, KP. Kevin Durant, the best <laughs> player in the world, when healthy. I've always said that. I feel that way now. Um, and he was en route to win an MVP until he got hurt. And now Joel Embiid has taken the league by storm. Here's what I think Kevin Durant is missing. And I don't want to hear stuff about him being sensitive or whatever. That bothers me because Kevin Durant has a right to express himself when people are talking about him. I'd rather you do that than not do that. A lot of guys will go behind your back and say stuff, but never say anything to you face to face. I can't tell you how many issues I've had with some professional athletes and in particular NBA players all because they didn't approach me. If you talk to me and you had a conversation and you let me know how you feel, I'd let you know how I feel, and then we could shake hands as men and be gone. A matter of fact, there have been many occasions, KP, when I've actually talked to athletes and I was like, damn, they got a good point. And what do I do? I come on TV and I correct myself because if I'm going to say something publicly about you, if I'm wrong in any way, then I'm going to go back on TV in public and correct myself. I'm not going to correct myself in private when I knocked you publicly. If I knocked you publicly and I was wrong, I'm going to say I was wrong publicly. In this case with Kevin Durant, I don't believe I'm wrong because I'm not talking about him, the player. He is a superstar. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. He is one of the greatest players we have ever seen. What I'm saying is because of the dysfunction that has reeked through the Brooklyn Nets franchise, KP, this season, if they falter in the postseason, but Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors ascend, folks are going to look at KD and say, you left Steph for that? That's what they're going but to you're do. You're essentially saying he's a victim of circumstance. Yes, because, that, that's exactly because he didn't have Kyrie because of the injuries. Well, because well, well, how this situation he's turned out. Somewhat of it a victim. It has nothing to do with his. Play. Somewhat, it's nothing to do with his play, but something to do with his leadership in people's eyes because they view Brooklyn as his team. So when stuff happens, right. they're going to say, "Where are you correcting all of this? Because it's your team." Right, wrong, fair or unfair, that's all I was saying because to the Durant family and to basketball people the world over, I will remind you, I have been covering the NBA for a quarter century. I know what the headlines are going yeah. to be. 
You could see it a mile away. Uh -huh. And that's all I was saying. No shade on Kevin Durant. I'm just saying this is what you got to watch out for. This is what's coming unless stuff gets cleaned up in Brooklyn and y'all handle your business, KP. And, and, and it's not hating. It's not hating. See, here, here's the thing that these guys have to realize. It's almost like going back to the Lakers with Shaq and Kobe, okay? When Shaq left, Shaq went proved that I could win without Kobe. And Kobe proved that he could win without Shaq. That's just what you got to do. So what you said was it wasn't wrong. It's, it's always going to be there. It's going to say, hey, KD, yeah, you won two championships, but you left and you couldn't do it without Steph. Could you, can you do it on your own? That's not a knock on KD. We know KD, in my eyes, is arguably the best scorer to ever touch the damn basketball. Here's what I got to say. I love Mama Durant. I love Mama Westbrook. Jason Tatum mama even came at me about a month ago on Twitter and I never responded or said a word to her. I understand they taking up for their babies and I feel them. They could take up for their babies. But at the end of the day, we're talking about basketball. We're critiquing the game of basketball. We're not attacking anybody personal. We're not going at anybody about what they doing in their personal life. This is about the game. We, I'll be the first person, and you too, Stephen A., to give props when props are due. But if, if things are not going well, which is not in Brooklyn at the time, and it's not because of KD, because KD been balling, but it's because of his homie, his little homie, his so-called brother that they can't seem to get under control some type of way, or they can't seem to get him on the same page. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.